In previous videos, I've shown how converting from a signed type to an unsigned can potentially cause problems if you're not paying attention. Thus, the compiler requires you to be explicit when doing that conversion. And by explicit, I mean you must have a cast. Not all type conversions must be explicit, however. Let me demonstrate. First thing I'm going to do is comment out all of this, just so I don't get name clashes. Let me do int i gets 5. And then I'll say long L gets I. All right, this assignment still requires a type conversion. I is an int, L is a long. A long has four more bytes than an int, or double the amount of bytes that an int has. So the compiler still has to uh, perform a type conversion here. However, the type conversion is implicit, meaning I do not need an explicit cast. I can be explicit if I want to. I could type long here and control shift B and the build succeeds. But I don't need to be because the compiler will allow this conversion implicitly. Watch all control shift B again and you can see the build succeeded. Why is that? Well, let me just uh, console write line int dot min value, control L, control VV, and I'll write out the max value, and then I'm going to control C both of these lines, control V and now down there, alt drag and type long. So let's look at the range of an int versus the range of a long. Control F5. And you can see here, uh, an int, uh, negative 2, 1, blah, 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 to 2, 1, blah, 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 blah. This range is much shorter than a long. That extra four bytes gets you a lot more range with a long, in fact. Let me, let me just see if I can draw our number line here again. And I'll just say, int min value, okay, min value, here's zero, all right, this will be int max value, okay, I'll, I'll just put max here, and let me change this other one to a min, okay, int min, I said min there, well, this range here is within the range of a long. All right, let's put the long, lowercase long, long max, all right, dot max value, and long dot min value. The range of an int is definitely within range of a long. Here is the long range like so. And both are signed, meaning they can store negative values and positive values, but but literally the long takes up four more bytes than the int does. So voila, the compiler says, hey, there is no value you can have with an int that I can't represent with a long, so go for it. That's, I'll do this for you implicitly. It's an implicit implicit conversion. Now let's go the other way around. I'm going to say I gets L semicolon. Well, now we get the red squiggly. The compiler will complain. Control Shift B saying, hey, I cannot convert a long to an int. There is a chance that you have a value somewhere out here or somewhere out here. And in order for me to safely convert these values to, or safely convert a long to an int, most of the values I can do that safely, the values within this range. Sure enough, that's fine. It's these values outside the range of an int where if you want me to convert a long to an int, there is a chance you could lose information. You could lose data. All right, we saw in the previous video where I converted a 200 to a negative 56, and if that was my bank account, what in tarnation just happened? All right, we've lost information in that case. And same idea here. Uh, you're out of bounds, so uh, so what are you going to do about it? So, so what do we do about it? We have to take the safety off. I want to say, you know what? I know that I could be out of range, but I am being responsible here, and I know a 5 is within range, so go ahead and do the cast for me. Control Shift B, build succeeded. The compiler's happy now. All right, so what if I, again, let's let's be stupid though. Let's do, uh, let's do. Oh, how should we do this? Let's 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 come in here, and I want to say convert int dot max value plus let's. Just bump up a little bit there. Int dot max value plus 10. If I go to int max value here and I go up 10, well, I'm 
in this range now of long that int can't represent. And I'm trying to convert that to an int. And let's see what's the error here. Uh, the operation overflows at compiled time in checked mode. Now, I haven't really talked about checked mode, but uh, basically the compiler's doing a check and saying, hey, um, uh, this is a constant, this is a constant. I can do the addition and see you're going to screw this up. So, um, um, problem, problem. So, one way uh, to get around that is we can say unchecked. Okay, I'm not sure if I should type that there. Control Shift B. Yeah, now the compiler's happy and says, I, I'm explicitly telling the compiler, hey, you know what? Don't do your checks. <laughs> Just do it and then uh, convert the result to an int. Okay, I know that syntax looks a little weird, but maybe I should, I need to do some videos on the unchecked syntax. All right, so hopefully you're getting the, uh, the idea that going from a, we call these narrower types, right? To a wider type, we call this a widening conversion. That's completely fine and safe. The compiler will do that for you. But doing a narrowing conversion, meaning I'm going to take the value of a long and convert it to an int. Well, then we get the compiler complaining and say, "Hey, if you're going to do this, uh, give me an explicit cast." All right. Let me let me do one more example before we end this video. I'm going to say l gets long dot max value. We are going to store the largest number we can in a long. Let me bring up the calculator here. And again, this is 32 bits right here, and this is 60 or another 32 up there, and both of those combined make 64 bits, which is ex exactly the number that we of bits that we have in a long. And so when I say long dot max value, I'm literally saying, let me go binary here, zero, one, 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 one. Use the keyboard to help me out. You see all these ones filling up like so. One, 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 all the way to right here. I'm leaving this zero here because this is our sign bit. Again, go look at the binary videos playlist on sign types if necessary. But I'm going to leave that a zero because this is long dot max value. It's a sign value, the largest possible value that a long can represent. And then right, let me put that right there. And then down here I'll say I gets L. And again the compiler will complain saying, hey, uh, I know that a lot of these values of an int or of a long overlap with an int. And so sometimes, yeah, most of the time probably, this is an okay conversion. But I am also aware that there's these values out here and all these values out here that cannot be safely converted to an int. And so if you want to do that, be explicit and say int. And in this case, what we have is exactly what we don't want. We have this largest value way out here on the end of our number line, and I'm trying to convert it to an int, and so we do the cast. Now, <clears throat> what does that, what, what's going to happen there? All right, I have, I have literally 64 bits, and I'm going to truncate them or chop off these upper bits up here. All right, bye-bye, I'm casting you away. I can even get a bigger marker here, and by converting to an int. I'm literally just truncating or chopping off all of that information. You see how much data we've just lost there? Lost all that information there. And if that's my bank account, wow, you just really oh, cut me deep, okay? And I think, well, first of all, let me, let me go down here. I'm going to say console write line i. What will print? Any idea what will print there? Pause the video. Come back. Hopefully you were able to figure it out. Control, uh, I think we're all, we're done. We're done with these right lines. I'm going to get rid of them and get rid of them just so we only have one right line on the screen. Control F5, and the result is negative one. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I I had long dot max value, and now you're telling me I'm negative one. Okay, what's going on there? What's going on? Well, let me bring the calculator back up, and oh, sure enough, if you understand signed. If you understand interpreting values as signed and unsigned, this is a negative one. All right. I think all too often when we do a cast, we think, oh, the compiler is going to do all this magic conversion magic for us. No, we're just saying interpret the bits differently. Okay. Chop off the upper 32 bits and then interpret these bits as an int. And if you look at these bits, this is a negative one in signed binary world. This is a negative one. That's why we had a negative one print there. So 
A couple things there. One, we need to be explicit on narrowing casts. Two, casting doesn't like... I think word, I think casting is a poor word for it, because casting's like, well, warp this thing, or change this thing, I, I kind of imagine a metal worker, blacksmith, he's casting a mold, you know, doing something, when really the compiler's doing nothing, it's just saying, oh, you want me to look at these bits as an int? Sure. Chop off those upper 32, and here we go, I got, I got these 32 bits, so, anyway, there's no magic conversion here, the compiler's just simply looking at it differently, and, and, I can't think of any casts. I mean, there's conversion operators that... I, I really can't think of any... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think of casts that actually do anything besides interpret the bits differently. I, I could be wrong and maybe throw something in the comments if necessary, but, but literally most casts, or all casts that I can think of right now at least, they just say, hey, interpret the di bits differently and change the size if necessary, which we've seen the size change here. So don't think casting is like doing something because it really doesn't do anything. It's just the compiler looking at your bits differently. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Next video.